dear students a very good morning to all of you uh, today we move into another lesson uh, the title of the lesson is uh, the bald peddler and robin hood uh, written by one of the famous american poet called francis j child um now please take page number uh, 126 126 in which uh, there is a small description about the poet he was an american scholar educator and folklorist folklorist means one who tells stories uh, folklore stories stories of the uh, villages um best known today for his collection of folk songs known as child ballads uh, you know these ballads contain a story eh? they um, uh, in a poetical way so uh they use a poem as an instrument to convey a story so such kind of poems which contain a story a full story is called ballad and francis j child is famous um, uh, in writing such kind of ballads now uh, we move on to the uh, lesson and this is also a beautiful ballad uh, written by francis j child and in which um uh, Uh, he narrates the story of a, a bald peddler and a robin hood so and their conversation and uh, their boldness and uh, all those things okay now we will enter into the lesson and listen to the um a story there chance to be a peddler bald a peddler bald there chance to be so this is a rhymic way of a uh, saying so uh, you know who is a peddler peddler means a person who uh, sells things from place to place carrying on his shoulders or, uh, uh, or on a bundle uh, so they carry things from uh, one place to the other so they are moving sellers sometimes you must have seen some peddlers coming to your home even uh, they have they will have a bundle of things uh, and they carry it to the next door isn't it so such kind of people uh, are called uh, peddler so there was a bald peddler uh, a person who was very bald okay uh, he put his pack all on his back and so merrily trudged over the lee so uh, he had a big pack over his back so he carried a big pack a bundle of things over his Uh, shoulders and he trudged he merely trudged that means happily he moved he walked over the lee over the bushes uh, over the uh, uh, over the land he was moving like that by chance he met two troublesome men so on his way uh, he must have uh, uh, no uh, uh, must have uh, carried many gadgets or uh, objects to sell Uh, um, and uh, uh, he must have had many things in his bag see on his way uh, he met a uh, two troublesome men so two people came uh, across him and uh, they had some something okay we will come to know what is that two troublesome men they chance to be so they came to be a uh, true troublesome men the one of them was robin hood the other was a little john so free so the two people uh, who came across um peddler were robin hood and a little john so these were the two people whom peddler met on the way now come to page number um 123 Oh peddler peddler what is in thy pack come speedily and tell to me so now somebody is asking peddler peddler please tell me what is in thy pack huh? what do you have with you uh, within your pack i have several suits of the of the gay green silks and silken bow strings by two or three so peddler is saying i have uh, several gay green silks so it's some some silk cloth and silken bow strings by two or three so that is also there are some bow strings uh, which are made of uh, silk so they are the things in the bundle 
if you have several suits of the gray, gray green silk and silken boss strings two or three then buy on my body cries little john one half of your pack shall belong to me so now the person who uh, uh, tells or uh, ask petlet to give um what is in your pack and um when he, when the peddler told it is um, uh, silk and uh, silk bow strings uh, the person who, whose name is little john he cries aloud he you no know, he tells now if you have all those things half of that please give it to me did you understand so now our little john wants half of his pack for free not for money okay so uh, he is uh, now peddler is all alone and uh, the two strange men they are very strong they came and asked for the half of the pack you know at that time uh, silk clothes and silk bowstrings those things were very costly okay now this little john he must be a thief he is asking for half of the pack without any money okay oh nay oh nay said the bo- peddler bold oh nay oh nay that can never be so oh nay means oh no so nay means no okay no no i cannot give you i will not give you so peddler bold means peddler is a bold person uh, that can never be i can never give you this uh, these things for free for there is never a man from fair nottingham can ask one half of my pack for me so there is nobody who can claim half of my pack like this in nottingham so uh, nobody is bold to ask me this kind of uh, uh, mean uh, these things then the peddler he pulled off his pack and put it a little below his knee so now what peddler did he put his uh, all his belongings uh, that big bundle he put uh, under his uh, or close to his knee little below his knee just put it down okay saying he said something saying if you do move me one perch from this my pack and all shall gang with thee so now uh, our bold peddler is telling uh, to little john now i have put my pack down now i am standing here if you are able to pull me a perch a perch means an inch if you are able to pull me an inch all this pack not have not only have but the entire pack will belong to you you can take anything if you are able to pull me a little bit okay so if you are able to defeat me you can take the entire uh, stuff all everything you can take then little john he drew his sword the the peddler by his pack did stand so now our little john had a sword uh, uh, so he pulled out his sword and uh, 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 our uh, little john thought that by seeing the sword sometimes peddler may get frightened and uh, run uh, run for his life no peddler was bold and he stood by the pack he did not move a bit then there began a fighting they fought until they both did sweat so both of them fought well they fought very well and both of them uh, were so much tired and they did sweat so now there was a great fight between um, little john as well as uh, peddler bold okay uh, so Uh, at the end uh, both of them did sweat and both of them became very much tired of this fighting till he cried so until when did they fight together till he cried peddler pray hold your hand then robin hood he was standing by and he did laugh must most heartily saying i could find a man of similar scale could thrash the peddler and so the okay so now um our little john could not defeat uh, peddler 
because petler was very bold and very strong so at the end our little john cried petler pray hold your hand please remove your hand from my neck please remove your hand then robin hood he was standing by so robin hood was the friend of little john and he was standing nearby and he did laugh most heartily by seeing all these fighting and all these cries and all those things uh, our um, uh, robin hood uh, was uh, no he he felt laughing and he laughed most heartily saying i could find a man of similar scale could thrash the petler and also thee so um uh, this is very strange that you could not thrash our uh, petler you, you are very weak what kind of man you are go you try master says little john go you try master most speedily for by my body says little john i am sure this night you will know me okay now go you try master so now our uh, little john is telling petler uh, no uh, telling um, robin hood go you try now robin hood please go and try my master says little john so little john tells uh, to robin hood now you go and uh, try you try to defeat this fellow go try master more speedily now go in a, in haste speedily you go and thrash him i am sure this night you will know me then robin hood he drew his sword so now it is almost evening and uh, robin hood is you uh, know telling him um, uh, trying to frighten him with these words now this night you will know who am i okay uh, then robin hood he drew his sword so then robin hood took his sword and the petler by his pack did stand so he petler was bold and he did not move a bit so he was standing there itself and he did not move a bit he did stand there they fought till blood in streams did flow till he cried petler pray hold your hand so now again a robin hood also could not defeat the petler so the petler. blood in streams came out of their body so uh, petler was very bold and strong and very vigorous now we will move on to page number uh, 124 oh petler petler what is thy name come speedily and tell to me come my name i never will tell till both your names you have told to me so now um our uh, robin hood is asking petler what is thy name now you tell me um what is your name what is thy name come speedily and tell to me now you come speedily and tell me now tell me your name i would like to know who are you because you have defeated me and my companion come my name i will never tell so i won't tell my name till both your names you have told to me now both of you have to tell your name to me then only i will tell my name the one of us is bold robin hood and the other is little john so free okay now they reveal their name. the both of them both uh, the both strange men uh, they reveal their name one as bold robin hood and the other is little john so free okay now says the petler it lays to me my good will whether my name i chose to tell to thee so now uh, says the petler now petler says it lays to my good will no uh, see it, is, it lays upon me whether to tell or not my name whether my name i choose to tell to thee now whether i want to tell or not depends solely upon me it is not because of that you are strong that i am going to reveal my name no uh, it is up to me to decide whether to tell my name or not i am gambil gold of the gay green woods and i traveled far beyond the sea for killing a man in my father's land 
and from my country was forced to flee so now he reveals his identity i am gamble gold that of so the name of the peddler or the name of the um moving seller his name is gamble gold of the gay green wood so his location also is being narrated and i traveled far beyond the sea so i came across the seas for killing a man in my father's land so i i happened to kill a man in my father's land and i happened to flee from that land and from my country was forced to flee so i was forced to flee from that country because i made a mistake i made a murder if you are gamble gold of the gay green woods and traveled far beyond the sea you are my mother's own sister's son what nearer cousin can we be so now our uh, uh, robin hood is saying that if you are gamble gold and if you are from gay green woods and traveled far beyond the sea so if you have done all these things i think i am sure you are my mother's own sister's son that means both of them are cousins now what uh, near they came to realize that both of them were cousins robin hood and peddler huh? he was a gamble gold of the gay green woods and she, and uh, robin hood told if you are gamble gold then you are my um mother is on sister son that means we are cousins so now uh, both of them became friends more than that they are cousins they shared their swords with friendly words so now they shared friendly words and they sheathed their uh, swords they put their swords in the in that uh, particular cover okay so merely they did agree so happily they agreed upon uh, their friendship they went to a tavern and they and there they dined so they went to an inn a hotel and there they had a beautiful uh, f- uh, food so they had a sumptuous food there and crackled bottles most merrily so they uh, broke many bottles must be of beer or wine so they had a very good drink and a very good dinner so thus we come to the uh, end of the Uh, ballad written by francis j child it's a beautiful uh, story of the bold peddler and robin hood and how they uh, fought and uh, what were their demands and how gamble gold revealed his name and uh, how they became cousins and af- once they realized that they are cousins uh, and what uh, how their mentality got changed so all these things we have seen thus we come to the uh, end of the uh, lesson Okay now you write down the notes thank you